One thing is for sure, retro gaming is alive and well. Things like new NES games and new Super Nintendo games coming out show that it's alive and well. Things like the NES Classic and the Super Nintendo Classic show that it is alive and well. The NES launching on the Nintendo Switch's online service. Retro gaming is alive and well. And so many people enjoy retro gaming. And now it's sort of becoming a convenience thing for a lot of people. Yes, you can always collect the original systems and the original games like I do. Or you could just have plug and play solutions. And a lot of people are starting to lean towards plug and play solutions as just a simple way to play your games on your HD television because it can be a bit tricky when you have original hardware trying to set up with a modern television. Well everyone has been wondering if other companies, major companies would follow suit after the success of the NES Classic and the Super Nintendo Classic. These systems have been selling amazingly well. They've been sold out for so long and you're starting to see a lot of high sales for these systems. And what a lot of people were wondering basically is Sony going to get involved with this? Obviously the PlayStation one is 25 years old now would they be getting involved well now at 2 in the morning when I was laying in bed about to go to sleep Sony announced the PlayStation 1 classic and I'm absolutely blown away by this and definitely very curious to check this out so what is the PS1 classic what games are gonna be on it how much is it gonna cost you what comes in the box and when is it coming out sit back relax make sure you subscribe to the channel and let's jump into this hey RGT 85 hey Sean oh my god it's Stevie Richards So the PlayStation 1 Classic, yes, this is a real thing. It is a PS1 Mini that will be bundled with 20 games. It will be releasing for $99.99 in the US and it will be releasing on December 3rd, 2018. So you'll be able to get your hands on this item that is probably going to be a very hot holiday item when this Christmas comes along because let's face it, a lot of people are going to want one of these, myself included. I definitely love the PlayStation 1 and I'm definitely curious to get my hands on one of these. So like I said, it releases on December December 3rd, it'll be $99.99 if you're in the United States, and this is what comes within the box of the system. You of course get the standard HDMI cable to hook it up to your HD television, which is key in my opinion, because it's going to be nice to just have a simple plug and play solution with all these games bundled into the console, and just hook it up to your HD TV. Comes with a USB cable and two controllers for local multiplayer with compatible titles. Now what's interesting about the controllers is you might notice these are the original PlayStation 1 controllers the ones that do not have any analog sticks these just simply have the d-pad so that's going to be sort of telling as far as what games are going to be available on the system if a game was designed with the analog stick in mind and more than likely will not be on this system sort of a curious decision in my opinion I'm guessing it's because of cost measures I'm sure it costs way more to have an analog stick than just the standard d-pad as far as the PlayStation 1 classic is concerned and they probably wanted to get it at that hundred dollar or less price point so if the analog sticks had to be sacrificed I totally get why they would have to be sacrificed. The system will be 45% smaller than the original PlayStation 1, so obviously it is a system designed sort of with the NES Classic and the Super Nintendo Classic in mind. Simple plug and play solutions that are easy to access for anyone and just anyone who wants to play some PlayStation 1 games. Now this system will be launching with 20 games on the platform. Now they have not revealed all of the games, so I kind of want to talk about the games that they have talked about and then sort of speculate on what other games I expect to see on this system. The games that have been announced are as follows. You have, of course, Final Fantasy 7. I think that was pretty much a guaranteed sort of thing there. Obviously, Final Fantasy 7 is pretty synonymous with the PlayStation 1. It was one of the highest selling games on the platform. And, you know, so, so many people love this game. Me, myself, I just sort of like it, but we won't get too deep into that. Another game that's on the platform is Jumping Flash, which was a really cool 3D platformer from a first person perspective. And it was a really sort of iconic game. It's a very expensive game on the original PlayStation as well so I think a lot of people will be able to play Jumping Flash for the first time or if they owned it back in the day or played it back in the day will now be able to play it again uh, Ridge Racer Type 4 will also be on the system the Ridge Racer series was another series that was pretty synonymous with the PlayStation 1 in my opinion definitely amazing looking graphics very fast very smooth as well so I'm looking forward to playing that again Tekken 3 another iconic fighting game another franchise that is synonymous with the PlayStation
situation. Sort of surprised they went with Tekken 3, though. I sort of think of Tekken 2 as sort of the game that sort of, you know, jump-started the fighting genre on that system. Of course, there was Tekken 1, but Tekken 2 was a bit more iconic than Tekken 3. But either way, you know, you're good to go with a Tekken game. And the final game is Wild Arms, another RPG, a classic RPG, and a really fun game. So those are five games that are announced. So there's still 15 games that remain for the PlayStation 1 Classic that we don't know about, that we don't have answers with, and we aren't sure what's going to come out. So I kind of want to just sort of theorize what I think we're going to see on the system. I think a no-brainer for this has to be Metal Gear Solid. Like, that was such a huge genre-defining, genre-bending game on the PlayStation 1, and just a fantastic game. Excellent storytelling, excellent gameplay, and I think it's a game that still holds up today. You know, the graphics aren't all that great, and you know, those sort of 3D models sort of, you know, they've sort of deteriorated over time when it comes to the PlayStation 1, but this is definitely a game that I think fits right in with this system, and it's a game that should be on the system. Another game that should definitely be on the system is the original Resident Evil. Now, of course, they did the DualShock Edition that allowed you to use the uh, analog sticks on the controller, but the original Resident Evil did not have that. It was simply use of the D-pad. So this would be another perfect fit for the system, definitely an iconic game, another game that I definitely sort of, you know, peg with the PlayStation 1. It was the first time I played it was on a PlayStation 1 and it absolutely blew me away. Another game I'd really like to see on the PlayStation 1 Classic is Gran Turismo 2. Gran Turismo 2 was a game that I spent so much time with on my PlayStation 1. Now, I don't know if there would be licensing issues with that game, though, because a lot of the cars, you know, they're real cars. They're all real cars in the game, and there's a lot of licensing going on with different companies like Ford, Mercedes-Benz, Suzuki, all sorts of companies going on. So there may be some licensing issues with that, but, you know, honestly, if there's a way around it, they definitely should find a way. And another game... Game, Castlevania Symphony of the Night, definitely synonymous with the PlayStation 1, arguably one of the best games on the PlayStation 1, really made it that Metroidvania style that so many people know and love today, and it's just a great game. If you've never played it before, I highly suggest you play it, and this would be a great way to play it on the PlayStation 1 Classic, and I feel like this is a game that would definitely be on the system. It wouldn't really be complete without games like Metal Gear, in my opinion. It wouldn't really be complete without games like Castlevania Symphony of the Night. I'm curious to see if there'll be some other, you know, sort of forgotten Sony franchises that will be on this device as well, such as the Siphon Filter franchise. That was a pretty big franchise on the original PlayStation. I remember Siphon Filter and Siphon Filter 2, and I think they might have done Siphon Filter 3 on the original PlayStation. My memory is a bit hazy on that, but I remember having a lot of fun with the original Siphon Filter, even though Gabe sort of ran like a weirdo. But Siphon Filter 2 was actually a really good game. Of course, there are so many RPGs to choose from on the original original PlayStation 1. I don't even know where you would start. There's strategy RPGs, action RPGs, standard JRPGs. There's so many potential games for the PlayStation 1 Classic that I think you could just sit here all day and just sort of spout out different games, maybe different hidden gems that you really loved on the original PlayStation 1. But I'm definitely very excited for this. I think it's going to be a really cool system. And I know a lot of people are going to say, well, they're just copying Nintendo. And I think you're 100% right. You know, even the design of the product, even the, the smaller size and the person, there's a picture with the person holding it in their hand, just like they did with the NES Classic when it was revealed. Obviously, this is being spread burned on by the success of the NES and the NES class or the SNES classic but I don't think that's a bad thing in my opinion you know that's a good thing I want more systems like this I would love to see you know more classic systems and maybe different versions of the PlayStation 1 because 20 games that's a little bit small in my opinion you know there's so many awesome games to choose from in that library they're definitely gonna have to sort of pick and choose you know the top tier games games that people really remember games that are really sort of defining of the PlayStation 1 because there's such a huge library library of games and so many people have so many different memories of the PlayStation 1. I hope that they maybe do potential, like I said, other versions of it and I hope other companies get involved with this. I'd love to see a Sega Saturn plug and play, you know, a Sega Saturn classic, like that would just be so iconic. So to briefly wrap things up, once again, the PlayStation 1 classic is real. The PlayStation 1 classic will be coming out this year, December 3rd, 2018. It's $99, it'll come with 20 games, we know 5 of the games, Final Fantasy 7, Jumping Flash, Ridge Racer Type 4, Tekken 3, and Wild Arms. You'll get an HDMI cable, two controllers in the box, 
They do not have analog sticks though, so that is worth mentioning. And yeah, this is gonna be an absolutely hot item. Whenever pre-orders go up, I highly suggest you pre-order this. I highly suggest that if you are in the market for this, you definitely keep your eye out for it. Whenever pre-orders go up, you'll wanna get in on that the second they go up because people are gonna go gaga over this. So let me know in the comments section down below what you think of the PlayStation 1 Classic, if you plan on picking one up, or if it's just something that doesn't interest you. And as always, thank you for checking out this video. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications. I'm doing all sorts of crazy videos. Obviously, sleep is not really in my agenda because I should be sleeping right now, but instead of making this video because, hey, why not? This is an exciting time and it's an exciting announcement. And as always, I will catch you guys on the next video. Later.